great, great. Nice. I'm doing good. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Very well. So, first all of right. all, uh, how do you combine being a medical doctor and holding the camera? Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, just to cut it short, I don't, I don't do um, clinical medicine. I don't work at a specific hospital. Um, I work with Graft Foundation. It's a charity organization that does um, free reconstructive surgeries for the babies born with the cleft lip and palate, right. extra fingers, all those congenital diseases. So um, in a year, we have um, a couple of months that we set to do this project. So during that time is when I don't carry my camera for any personal work or do any bookings, then I go and I help in that aspect. But after that, it gives me enough time to do my own business on the side as well. But I tried combining full-time medicine and photography. No. Well, I see. But it's not. W which one came first? Medicine or, uh, or, or film? W which of them came first? It's a long story, but uh, professionally, medicine came first. Okay. So why, yeah, why, why, why photography? A medicine there, uh, um, ca camera, camera for home. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Um, it has, it has more to do with, um, so it's not about, um, it's not about the camera for me, or it's not about pictures. For me, I'm a creative person. I've always been creative. So apart from um, photography, I do music as well. Hey. Um, we do sound engineering <laughs> and all that stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been all the creative aspects. So photography is only one of the aspects that allows me to be able to um, express that creative avenue. So that's 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 what it is. Yeah, but, in commitment, well, being a doctor, I mean, you, I'm very sure it pays a lot. And you may not, um, correct me if I'm wrong, you may not get as much as you're getting on the field of of attending to, I mean, clinicals <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and and doctor and whatever it is. So, why? I is wish, it, is I it, wish is Sorry, I wish Kobe Blue would answer that. I wish Kobe Blue would answer that question for you, whether it's <laughs> or not. Right. <laughs> because if you look at the working hours and all that, um, and you do the math, it really doesn't. But um, the idea is not really about the money; it's really about helping people. So that's 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 the whole vibe. Um, another thing that I like to do when it comes to uh, photography is that most of the medical books that we've ever read, um, they contain pictures of foreign um, um, foreign people, and when they talk about them, you're thinking, "Oh, this." Uh, the skin is supposed to look this way and so on and so forth. But then we don't have enough quality pictures when it comes to our medical books. We have professors writing books, but they end up picking up pictures from outside or from the internet. There are copyright issues as well as um, them not being related to us. I mean, um, we Africans. So the other idea is to go into uh, medical photography to be able to take pictures for people to... Uh, use them for their books. Copy Blade does the same thing as well. He has, he has some medical images, but he's going to the um, social part of it where people are, um, are interacting, the people that are seated at the hospital, how they feel, but I'm more into the technical part of it. So being a doctor and being um, a photographer allows me to be able to shoot at the right angles that doctors would understand and use it for their work. So that's where the combination actually comes in. Wow. Okay, Dexty. Well, please don't go yet. Uh, I'll still need you in okay. this interaction. I'm really enjoying our conversation. But let me get to Kobe Blade. Right. Well, uh, Dexty just mentioned that you'll be the best person to uh, answer that. You, you, you're, I'm, I'm also looking at yours and your portfolio is something else. You're also a nurse practitioner. Yeah. So w w what do you do with nursing? Is it about... Uh, you're obviously not a gynecologist. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's a wide range dealing with every class of person, every social status. I mean, in the within the health area, or within the hospital. I'm currently practicing with the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, and uh, it's been over ten years now practicing. But then, like Desdi mentioned, you realize that a lot of contents within the health space that we used in teaching and all teaching and learning, you find out that we always have to borrow 
images from other fields. When you Google about diseases, when you Google about skin diseases, you Google about uh, people in the hospital, you always find you always find the best pictures from outside, and then you find the worst pictures from the African, I mean, community. So, I mean, for me, it's basically about documenting my everyday life, um, interactions with people, interaction with a person seeking for health care. And that is how it, it, I'm able to do the combination. One of the things I'm doing recently is um, a project I've started with the COVID. And so far back as January, February, uh, January, February 2020, I have been photographing everything we've been doing with regards to COVID, how we've been treating patients, um, patients who have survived and all that. So today that we are doing the vaccination. So we have been able to put all these contents together and I hope that one day we'll be able to tell our story. And there's an archive. When history beckons anytime soon, I mean, we'll be able to show what we did, what was happening in terms of how we managed COVID and all that at the front lines and in our hospitals. Okay, so how did photography start? I think that um, I've basically been a person who always wants to document. Mm. And so I find every means possible, every means that I've, I enjoy the, 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 the pleasure or the luxury in to document. Mm. So it's been as far back as um, um, junior high school. G G junior, we, we did a JSSO. So that was when I started to mean photograph a lot of things i mean i found these old cameras to do it but then it got much more intense um i think about five six years back one of the incidents that made me do more of it was uh, when the Melcom collapse happened when we had the Melcom mm. disaster i had this small point and shoot camera and i was going somewhere and the incident just happened it was just a few meters away from where i was so I started photographing everything that was happening and I I actually put out some of the first pictures and it got even the BBC to send emails that they needed photos that they wanted to use. So I photographed the whole thing from day one to day three. So the whole um, people that were under the rubble were taken off. So from then I felt that, okay, I think it is now the best I've now gotten the real birth of what i wanted to do in addition to whatever i was doing and i decided to focus more in the health area now yeah i see so speaking of the pictures that you may not want to be charged for copyright and all i mean when it comes to pores and you know skin diseases and the rest so how do you do it in case you need something to document? Do you go to various hospitals or you make calls to find out if people are affected before you go there and take the pictures and document them? So for me, there are times that I, I, I basically travel to community or when I'm visiting any facility or when I have the chance of working on any project like uh, supporting Graft Foundation like this. So for every moment that I'm spending in the health area, for every moment, every time I have an interaction, I look out for something happening. And a lot is happening each day around us. And for everyone to have the opportunity in seeing, to be able to use it to educate my community, to be able to use it to influence decisions and policies, I carry virtually my camera with me every time mm. so when i meet it you can find a health story within every incident that's happening and i pick it up and then i i, I just film it or photograph it and save it uh when when dex d mentioned that you you'll be the best person to answer i'm very sure he was talking about the income <laughs> 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 he was <laughs> now, now I, I see dex d laughing <laughs> so so it, it, it's 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 about the income tell me is it is it lucrative it is and i i i comparatively when you look at what you're earning at the end of the month and you compare to whatever you have to make per each um job you get or for each project you are running you realize that um yeah, it's outweighs what you are earning on the monthly basis but then again, there is a business side to this whole photography thing. Um, you may be earning, but you also have to do some spending. So you have to cover some Fine costs. Business. Yes, I mean, <laughs> getting the right equipment for the job, getting putting together the right team for the whole thing. I mean, initially, you, you pick up the camera and you think that's all what it is. But then 
you start the work and you realize that there is a whole business to photography so you may have the talent for the work to shoot but you may not have the talent for the business aspect of photography and that is what most people miss so for me i think that it's lucrative and it pays when you do the work well when you focus on an area because everybody is photographing these days everybody takes a, a, a phone on. and then they are already taking photographs sometimes they look better than phones may even look better than someone's professional work but then again the details the difference you put into your work the other the stories that it tells the impact it makes i mean brings the value to the whole thing so it pays but then it involves quite an amount of cost to get things done properly right let, let, me, let me get to uh ben Ben, welcome once again. So, Thanks, your man. your um, business name, Covenant Studios. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a church. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was raised. I was raised like mostly in a Christian home. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah which Christian? Which which Christian home? Apostolic. I, Apost I, oh, yeah. Apostle. Oh, Okay. <laughs> wow. Great. Nice. So, s speaking of, um, well, does that mean you only? film christians oh, or no. like pastors that's, and that's just a name that i came up with growing up because um basically i do most of artist profiling mm. that's what i'm basically like stated in like because when you check my name star maker it was just given to me by one of those artists i shoot and what star maker yes bro okay yeah because i make stars okay <laughs> interesting <laughs> so, interesting um, like my brother was saying like in the photography business you need to get a niche like a place that you need to put yourself in mm. whether you're going to do wedding photography whether you're going to do events so that you stand out because if you are going all the way around doing whatever like somebody is doing you're not going to be seen so you need to just pick out a place that you're going to stand out so like for me i stood with um, artist profiling and i've worked with like a lot of artists and they've understood what i do and it pays as well yeah so they've understood that i do artist profiling so anyone that that calls me wants to do artist profiling so that's the the the, the stage that i am in yeah right i see so you you per what you're saying hey charlie nola no, look <laughs> at this i mean three gentlemen mm -hmm. and pay attention to detail please i mean the way they they speak <laughs> rough whoa rough <laughs> Brothel. They speak very well. Brof, <laughs> they are brothel. Mm -hmm. And it looks like photography in Yako Shifu No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Because look, I mean, you can pick, yeah, we can mention some professions. Ask them questions. How did you see that game? Um, so as you can see, <laughs> I mean, these are people that speak without a single yeah. M, um, yeah. uh, you know, you know, and. <laughs> You know, no embellishments. You just go straight you, to the are you, point. Are you taking a jab at me, though? Why? Because I, I see um a lot. And uh, so I love. <laughs> 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 Listeners, please stay with us. When we come back, we'll continue with uh, with Ben uh, of Covenant Studios, and you'll be telling us some of the artists he has worked with. It will amaze you that your favorite artist is his client. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Showbiz Review is probably brought to you by Vodafone Betway. And Franco Trading Enterprise, not living at Rockstar's Roofing. This is Andy Dusty. We'll be right back. With photography, uh, Ghana has got great, great, great photographers in in the studio. Uh, I've got Ben from Covenant Studios, well, Star Maker. I like that, Star Maker. And Kobe Blake. Kobe Blake is a photographer and psychiatric nurse practitioner. Uh, Dex D joins us via Zoom. He's a, a photographer and a medical doctor. So, uh, play, uh, psychiatric nurse practitioner. What, what do you do? You, you, Pantai, huh, baby? <laughs> I just, just want to know. Yeah, I know. But um, we are integrating mental health into general practice. So now, instead of saying that you have to go to Pantai or you have to go to Accra Psychiatry, I mean, I've worked in these facilities before. Now, we, I am working in Kolebu Teaching Hospital. So if someone says that uh, I'm sick, I went to Kolebu Teaching Hospital, even though I went for mental health or psychiatric treatment, you may not be so <laughs> quick to ask, uh, what are you doing at the psychiatric facility or something? Because this is a general facility. Mm. So across the country now, you find out that 
all the general facilities all the general health facilities there's an integration of mental health unit or i mean departments so you can walk into any general health facility now and then ask to be seen if you have any challenge with your psychology or mental health issues so i practice uh, providing physical psychosocial and uh, psychological care to persons with any issues with uh, mental health and that's what it is mm. yeah so you 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 worked at accra psychiatric hospital no now i'm at kolebu teaching you hospital. worked I mean, yes you i did to. yeah and uh which one the other I did one anka i worked in anka psychiatric hospital. did you see did you ever see or meet funny face <laughs> 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 I think it wouldn't be it wouldn't be ethical to speak about any patient. Oh, well, yeah, we can't talk for here. <laughs> well, I I don't have his consent to do anything like that. Okay. So even if I did, I may have to restrain myself. But, I know, I yeah, know. if he wants no. to talk about his own thing, that's fine. Oh, he was on, on the lighter side. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny face is my very good friend. <laughs> hey, oh, <there> she. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see. So, before we went for the break, um, Star Maker was telling us about some of the things he does. I, I want to find out, back at you, I want to find out some of your clients. Who are your clients? Okay, so since you make stars, <laughs> I've been waiting so much for someone to make me, man. I want to be a star. <laughs> Bro, <Charlie. laughs> I, I, I receive it. Yeah. I want to be a star. Please make me a star. <laughs> star. That's the covenant studio. So you know, anytime I work with you, I have a covenant with you. So you're, you're going to be with me forever. She. Like, <laughs> spiritual, you, know, spiritual. <laughs> you know, at one time, sorry to catch you. I met this guy who was DJing Charlie. Oh, I called to two papa, so that you know, I just watch. I just they laugh. So I I, I approached him. So no, hi, my name is Andy Dusty. I'm also a DJ. Charlie, you did good. I, I want to learn. Oh, me, I'm ready. Anytime you want to come, just come. I'll teach you, man. I'm like, okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. <laughs> okay, so, um, you, you, some of the clients you work with in within our circles. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm um, talking about the clients. Um, I think I've worked with um 90 of the artists in the industry. Hmm. Yeah. Like talking of um Pat Thomas. Um, Pat Thomas. Me, yeah, I've worked with Pat Thomas. Ah, so those stylish pictures, we yeah. wearing a hat, a hat and yeah, yeah, I took those pictures. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I've worked mm. with Samini. I've worked with um, D Black, mm. EMG Medical. I've worked with Kelvin Boy, Kwame Na MP, like most of the boys, like Mr. Drew, um, Famier, and I'm, I'm, I take their pictures. Like I, I do their pictures personally. No one mm. takes their pictures. Yeah, so I work with them like. It's forever. It's a covenant. <laughs> no one let me let, let me let me get to oh yeah. So immediately I I opened Instagram. Okay, so let me go. Unfortunately, and check. they hacked my Instagram last week. No, no, no I'm yeah. I'm going to check on D Black's page. All the pictures there are my works. Really? Yeah. Wait a minute. He's is my, he's my very is, good is friend. This? Yeah, that's my photo. Yeah. So you took this picture? Yes, bro. Yeah. This it's right true. here. Oh, I see. Wow, I see. So the, the the picture on his on his Instagram page, yeah, all of his photos, medical, um, Kelvin boy, like. All, Wait yeah. a minute. Does that mean you? And I'm going to make you a star. You'll be star already, but I'll <laughs> add, a, I'll add a little star to it. <laughs> oh, so you too. Ah, so all the sushi videos and pictures you take out. Yeah. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> yeah, well, and his loyalty um, album, I did the cover art for him, the album cover. Okay. Yeah. Mm. This, you did this too? Yeah, I did. Really? That's great. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> ah, how about this? All of them. All of the photos on his page, like I did them. We covenant so if I do, I mean, I'll go anywhere. <laughs> you know, interestingly, yesterday I, I told Kwame Eugene about you. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So he he asked, he was asking of. I met Kwame at um, DJ Breezy's um, video shoot. I think 2018. Yeah, mm. yeah, we spoke, but he didn't, you know, we didn't get back together again. Okay, so, so AMG Medical. Let me try and check Medical's photos. That's my too. godfather. Medical. Yeah. Nice, I won't yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's my godfather did you take this 
I was on medical there, like nowhere. Really? So you no took way. this picture? See this picture right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Really, this? Yeah. 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 Right. So cool. Hey, Chadan, you've been busy. <laughs> wow. And quiet. <laughs> Yeah, wow. I want to be low key, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so this popular picture too? Yes, my darling. Oh, really? So you took this picture? Yes, bro. Wow, this. <laughs> the picture on this. <laughs> ah, I like see this picture. <laughs> your, your favorite picture? Everything. Everything, like from scratch, from Andy, down to yeah, top. Andy, mm? you're still scrolling. You said everything. <laughs> everything. You said everything. Yeah, everything, like. Well, everything. you're doubting him. Everything. I'm everything. not. I'm not doubting him. Oh. But where did you know what? But you did. Okay, so you see, you can tell the difference with his works, his handwriting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because it wasn't that detailed. Yeah. So, you know, I, <laughs> I could tell. Yeah, well, boy. And yes, I said, so, yeah, I was shot. No one was ever ready. I said, a phone here, deep chat. Some of them. But not, not disrespect to any photographer out there, but please. So, it's not easy. Uh, the photography business in Ghana is not But, you know, it brings me to the question, who is a good photographer? Well... Let, let me begin with Dexter. I think we've let we've let, we've let Dex out out yeah, of out, out of it. And uh, Dex, please get closer. Uh, um, Dex TV super guy. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Is that Dex TV super guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Noella, please yeah, ask so Dexty, I wanted to know who a good photographer is, or what are the characteristics of a good photographer? Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Can. Very well. Very well. Please go ahead. Okay. Great. Um, I think that uh, it can be defined in several ways. One of them can be from the fact that you understand what you're doing. Before before I get into it, the word photography means painting with light. So the more you understand light, the better your pictures get. So one, to be a good photographer, your understanding of light has to be good. And why you're lighting in a certain way or why you chose to light this way. So that's 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 the beauty parts of it. Um, uh, to extend a little bit more, what makes a good photograph would be a picture that is, um, let me put it this way, if you have an idea in your mind and you say that this is what I want to capture, this is what I want to put out there, if you're able to translate what is in your mind to the back of your screen, that is what makes a good picture. That's the second um, part of it. Combine this together as a good photographer, being able to capture exactly what you need to capture is the first thing. And the second part has to do with your ability to relate to your clients. Like Kobe said, if you were good with the business aspect of it, how you run your business, how you um, are you able to keep your business growing, that is what makes you a better photographer. Because everyone can take pictures, as he said, but your ability to run a successful business, understand your client, and be able to deliver good images as they want. That is what makes you a great photographer. Because um, I like what um, Ben said, that once he signs a covenant with you, you know, that's basically you guys moving forward. Because to be able to do that, you have to understand your client, what they want, how they want it, their vision. And if you can relate to that and get that image moving forward, that is what, you know, is gonna keep your business going. But as a photographer, also, you should know when to say no to certain pictures that you're not like certain jobs that you're not supposed to take, because at the end of the day, these images are going to go out there and it's going to represent what you are doing. So your ability to say, oh, no, I'm not going to take this picture because it's not in the mindset of what I want. Like I know, for example, you can ask the other guys, say, would they ever shoot a funeral? Probably most of them will say no, because will you shoot? No, no, so, so, so next, will you will you shoot? I love funerals. I I have shot a funeral before, but it was family. I only shot a family because it's family. You, you have to show up and then you take the pictures. But um, the other one was a friend. I but it's not something I'll take up every day. Mm. Why? Because so, is, I, it, is it because it doesn't pay? Oh, or no, or you are scared of dead bodies? Well. It, it, it pays very well, but the idea. <laughs> The idea of having a morbid picture, you know, in your frame and all that stuff. Most most photographers who even shoot where, um, uh, shoot funerals would try and avoid the dead body as much as possible. It's it's there's something morbid about. It. As a doctor, I don't mind. I'm not I'm not bothered by that. But that whole morbid idea of capturing, you know, a dead person pictures it doesn't quite sit right with most people. You can see it and all that, but it's it's no different from any other event where people are 
moving about, talking to each other, either having fun or crying. Yeah, it's there. But most photographers will probably say no. So to be a good photographer, again, knowing exactly what it is that if the client comes to you and you can tell their vision is not really how you want it to go and you have a disagreement, you, you, nothing stops you from saying no. I'm sure the guys have had um, experiences saying no to certain, sorry, my alarm just buzzed off. <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 think, I think that's my little take on what makes a good photographer. Okay. The understanding still, of the word. Right, still on that, must every photographer know, necessarily know how to edit? And in editing, I mean, what is a good editing work? Because for me, for instance, you know, sometimes I've taken pictures with some photographers that, you know, they come back with your pictures and you realize that it's too edited. And for me, when it's too edited, it's too plastic. You know, I love for you to give me some yeah, good yeah. editing, but I want to feel my skin. I'd want to feel, you know something real about the picture you know but it comes back and you realize it's too smooth it's too refined and so it really mm. makes me want to ask you know first of all must a photographer know how to edit and what is good editing in photography nice. that's that's a very good question and i'm happy you, you actually asked that question because um no not every photographer is supposed to know edit you can know the basics of you know basic crop processing your picture because when we shoot our pictures are in raw format so you have to convert them to jpeg so that someone can view it and in raw format it's like the raw format is like the old film you know the that transparent film and you have to translate that into an actual picture so that's what we do on our computer but ideally you are supposed to be just a photographer and then there's supposed to be a professional retoucher who would sit somewhere you give your pictures to and then they process your pictures for you. ideally that's what it's supposed to be but here in Ghana, most people paying someone else to edit their pictures means more cost. And for that reason, if they're going to transfer that cost onto the client, their pricing system would seem too expensive. So most of the time they cut off some of that cost and then they do learn to edit themselves. But as always, as you learn to edit, as a, like editing is a completely different, you know, ball game altogether. So let me explain what editing or retouching is editing starts from how you shoot a picture you know how you crop it how you frame it and all that stuff to your end product your colors so um number one not all pictures are supposed to be edited if you're shooting something which is a uh, documentary you want the picture to appear as is if you're shooting something for beauty where you're trying to sell a product like a beauty product that product has to look good that is where you go to that high-end retouch that's that's that, that's the other side number two when it comes to retouching there is the skin retouching then there is a the color grade the color grade is what gives it the feel now most people um most photographers have heard of this technique that we use called frequency separation basically is when you separate the, the, the colors from the texture of the skin now, when you, it's a very popular technique most photographers know, but not so many people do it well, simply because they do not understand how it works. If you, there are some numbers that if you don't get the value well, the skin, the, 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 the details of the skin and then the color still merge together. And then when you edit, it takes out the details like you were talking about. Okay, uh, unfortunately, uh, oh, sh next. Oh, he, he was really explaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hits. Okay, we'll, we'll try and re-establish contact with uh, with Dexty. Uh, Randy, I but, love but, funerals. Sorry, you you love funerals. Yeah, I love funerals. <laughs> I think my love for f shooting funerals was established when I had the privilege to shoot alongside with the legendary Bob Pixel. Oh, may so rest in peace. Legend, legend. Uh, Bob Pixel, he was the one that passed on. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, yeah, very unfortunate. And we shot together during the funeral of the later Asante. Uh, Hima. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so we we did that. And since then, and for me, I'm also coming from the documentary side of photography, mm. the storytelling part. Mm. And if you are able to document a funeral, you 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 always really leave the memory for the family. Mm. Yeah. They're able to sit back and watch when one was smiling. 
and how they had to smile through the, reactions. the pain, the reactions, the the, the 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 family that came together. So I, I think for me in the documentary aspect of photography, I love funerals. I really love funerals. But when it comes to the morbid aspect, the body and all that, I mean, it's very difficult for everyone, most people. Mm -hmm. But I have come to love the story aspect that you have to fish out of the whole funeral asset happening. And and for me, so maybe I'll start a whole new brand of I love funerals. <laughs> or I shoot funerals, you know? So, but yeah. no, apart, apart from that, which other funeral um, have you done? Yeah. Several several yeah. funeral yeah. shots. Yeah, yeah. To the extent of shooting the dead bodies? Yes. Oh. Yes, you need to know a way to well, shoot it. Because that, I'm not talking of literally shooting the dead bodies. I'm talking about... <laughs> I mean, being able to pictures. tell the story from when even they pick up this, the cops oh, from the mortuary to all the way to the lane in state. You know, there's a way you can tell a story and it wouldn't look that scary. morbid or scary. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you go so vivid with pictures, if you uh, the colors... Yes, you go the angles and you, you put more color in maybe a cop's line there. I mean, it makes it yeah. some way. I mean, well, you can do it in black and white. Do some dramatic effect yeah. on when you are editing and it changes the whole feel. So you're able to tell the story in a different way. Do a, a, a reflection of the of the of the body through the glass that it's yeah. lying down yeah. and the angle you do. It, it changes everything. So for me, I think... I love funerals. Now it's the new addition. Like, funerals, not just normal funerals. Okay, so that's the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> so in the, in this case, strategic. Now in this case, are, are you talking about funerals that that pay, mm -hmm. or ordinary? Okay, sorry to use the word ordinary. Well, no human is ordinary. <laughs> but there are some funerals that child music. It must be. So, to be honest, it I must think be. Dex is back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, please go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it must be because, I mean, risking, and even in these times with the advent of COVID and all that, mm -hmm. to put in all the risk, you must pay me, I mean, relatively well. On the average? <sighs> that may be hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, the av average, not, uh, not, high, high, not, not high profile funerals. Yeah. So, like, how it, much? It may be difficult. Mm -hmm. It depends. On what? It depends. Okay, so what are you looking out for? Um, I'm looking out for where I'm shooting it, the days involved, I'm gonna, the time. My hometown. <laughs> <laughs> the days involved. Three, if I have three to, hold on. So if, it's a three-day event. Yeah. Starting Friday, where the body is picked from the morgue. <laughs> no, oh, of course. I mean, I'm giving... I'm, I, listen. So you need to know. We're talking transition here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you go pick... So you, you go and pick the, the body from the morgue. Yeah. You follow it. All through to the dressing. Uh, as the body arrives at home, the dressing, all of these are being shot, where libations and all of them... Uh, rituals are being performed ah, till the lane in state and people coming in to file past all through and through till various announcements are made performances straight to the to the cemetery and probably the next day to the church service and back to the celebration till it's done so all of these encapsulated i mean in three days all of that summarized <laughs> within three days. I can give you right? a starting point. So give me a starting point. Obviously, we have to start. Maybe around the 6,000 cities for a starting point. And if in case we have a, a relation, we don't have a relation, maybe there are some extras and all that, then we keep doing the add up or the minus. Wait, but so in this case, where it's happening in a village, where you... Okay, so who's going to take care of your accommodation? So that is where we're talking about the additions and subtractions. Yeah, you hold a camera <laughs> for three days. I'm actually not holding the camera. Creating Experience, story. talent, story to tell. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying. Okay. I mean, yes, literally. Yeah, you're holding a camera. Yeah. Right. So you are using that as a tool mm. to tell those stories. Yeah. Now, you charge six thousand Ghana cedis on the average. A start. With for, for the start for the start. So you 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 travel to let's say Bekwai yeah. to go and shoot. Mm. Then they. Okay, uh, wait. I, I, I must be very careful with my. No, no, no. Because it, it's a very delicate. It's quite a delicate yeah. situation. Mm. So I'm, I'm trying to be very, very careful mm. with my line of question. What is the worst, the worst question or comment you've ever heard 
based on your pricing. Okay. <laughs> You know the reason so, I'm asking? So, yeah. Because I've been, I've been, I've been in like... I've been in like... I've been in like... Because me, I'm, I, I, I'm a victim. That's a picture, keke. I mean, yes. I mean, yeah, but in 10 years' time... And you're a young keke now, but... And you're far more far... But you realize that in 10 years' time, we'll be looking for that particular photo that was shot. I mean, that was taken to, to, to symbolize the day of that event. Yeah. And, I mean... How do, are you able to preserve the image for all that time? I mean, it's my intellectual property. I've uh, been able to preserve it for all these years and you're still going to have it and use it. I mean, how much cost we have to put to that? And so sometimes when you're even doing these documentary work or projects, you, 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 you put together the usage. So we have the copyright and the usage. You put all that together when, how long the person is going to use it and cool. I mean... There are some terrible comments that come with it. I mean, when they realize, oh, you're charging that much, mm -hmm. forgetting about the skill and experience the person is putting together. When someone carries the equipment to your event and maybe Ooh, drops, the, nice. drops the lens or something like that, who pays for it? I mean, if I come to your, uh, cover your event and I get sick in the process, who is, who is taking care of me? Uh, if I if I bring along an assistant who gets injured in the process or so, anything happens, who takes care of that person? So that is. That Are you is, insured? Most no. most of us. Mm -hmm. You are not. Yes. So you have to find a way to do it. And some have spoken to some of the insurance companies, and I think with um, we have a a group. Uh, photographers, uh, professional photographers group. I mean, who is fronting this to get the insurance packages for most of us? Because there are times theft could happen. People could break into your house, carry your equipment away, and all that. You could lose your equipment whilst on the job. There could be a disaster or what have you. You'd be covering a very uh, this flooding or fire outbreak mm -hmm. and all that, and something could happen to you. So that is the business aspect of it and if you are able to maneuver in very well then it's very possible for you to succeed if not you think you're making the money but actually you're not let me get back to you ben w what is the worst comment you've ever heard <laughs> i know hey picture keke me be trying out oh jimmy thousand and sometimes they find it some ways like i entered your studio and i i just change i take pictures and they are charging me a lot of money like they don't get picture it. keke picture keke mm. meanwhile so, it's so, a whole process so what's, what's your response i don't talk <laughs> <laughs> i don't talk much <laughs> i don't talk because you know, it's a whole process you know? no no let me ask that dex is that uh, dex is back dex what was the what's the worst comment you, you've you've ever heard <laughs> something that nearly um, ma made you throw your camera away <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's similar to them, but let me tell you one one funny thing that happened. Mm. I was shooting in the middle of Oxford Street. This is a while back, like I think uh, maybe 2013. Shooting in the middle of, of Oxford Street. There are some models walking in the middle and I'm shooting and the cars are passing by. People are watching. It's traffic. So they are looking at me and passing comments. And then one taxi driver slowly comes, you know, with his car, looks at me and he said, Ah, Maza. <laughs> and I'm there, I'm there and I'm like, hey, so I, I really like, I was, I was still processing the whole thing. And then before I could finish my assistant, uh, then Paul, he's now, uh, uh, reflex. He looks back at the guy and he's like, now, so can I watch you? And I thought that was a perfect one. And I was like, okay, that's good. But you know, um, let me say this when it comes to, uh, photography most people underestimate it uh, andy do you realize that when you are done with your wedding there are only two things you take home you take your spouse and you take your memories these are the only two things mm. so you, because if, if you invest in your um deco at the end of the day the deco guy will come and take everything and go in the food people come and eat it and then they will go whatever it is you know that you invested in so much it's it's going to go away when you go home it's only going to be your memories and your spouse that you have so most people go like oh picture keke and i say this thing you say then they they, they they end up coming back like oh my pictures no and i say and i say and i say because they thought they could get someone who could do it cheaper for them so i think that if people understand that these are the two most important things the memories that as kobe was saying you can take you know the 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 pictures 
10, 20 years and then look at it and be like, this was our wedding, this is what happened, then it makes more sense. So yeah, people are underestimated, but it has a lot of, you know, important value in our lives that we, we, we as Ghanaians, um, you know, belittle it so much. Mm, I see. Okay, so uh, do you, must you be licensed to do this job? Please continue for me no, before I get back to the studio. Not necessarily. You don't, you don't have to be licensed. The whole point is that these are images that have end product. So you should be able to show your works for people to be like, oh, I like your work. I like your style. I like what you do. And that is why they're coming to book you because if their creative vision doesn't um, uh, attach to or uh, doesn't match what they are looking for, they will definitely not come to you. And then also uh, your personality. People can vibe with you. They can relate to you. Then, you know, they, they would come to you. But in terms of licensing, no, you don't have to be. But you can be part of a body. So in America, they have uh, photography bodies that they don't necessarily need them to be licensed. But if you're part of the body, it gives you more credibility. That's what we are trying to establish here in Ghana with um, APGG. That's Association of Professional Photographers in Ghana. Um, that way, if you go and you're applying for a certain big job and people are like, oh, can I trust this guy who came to take these pictures? And then they are, they are credited by the association. Then they know that, yeah, this person is a good guy that you won't run away with your pictures or you, you would run away with your money or you would deliver and all that stuff. So, yeah. Ah, uh, Dex, wait, wait a minute. So, what well, if you are not licensed? Uh, it means you are not paying tax. Um, you if okay. So, if you work with certain companies, you end up paying tax at the end of the day. It's a business. If you're registered as a business, if you go and apply for a government job, you have to have your TIN number and all that stuff. They would ask you all those things, and definitely you would have to. Pay well, in tax. in a case in Some a people, case of of Covenant Studios, who may not be working with companies but may be working with musicians who are also struggling to pay taxes they don't most <laughs> most of them don't even pay their taxes and something that nearly turned wahala about a year or two ago in this case how does he pay his tax yes he has his tin but he is not paying taxes because look they may not deduct anything and so and and he's also not licensed. In this case, he's not contributing anything to the state. Okay, so Adi, we had we had a meeting with um, the Ghana Revenue Authority a while back, right? And they were they were, they were, they were trying to uh, you know set up tax system for us and then talk about it and all that stuff. But after the conversation, they said they were going to get back to us because they realized that it's not that simple or that straightforward to tax uh, tax photographers. <laughs> yeah, really, it was it was it was a whole because we may charge X amount of money, but this goes into that, that goes into that, that goes into that. So it's hard to actually tell the end um, income that that goes into it. The only part that was pretty straightforward was withholding tax. So if you work with companies, as you charge them, they will put down the withholding tax. After that, you get your certificate, and then you can use that when you go back to the tax revenue um, section. So it's not that straightforward. There's a bit of complexity to it. So they are aware. They tried coming to us, you know, trying to take some money because of this and that and that. But they are, they are still yet to get back to us, as they said. So that's what we're waiting for. Listen, as you get suggestion, you're listening to Hits 103.9 FM, a showbiz review. And we're having a discussion with uh, seasoned photographers. I have DXT. I've got uh, uh, Covenant Studios. I've got Kobe Blay. Here and we're having a fruitful discussion. Uh, Showbiz Review is brought to you by Vodafone, uh, Betway, Rockstar's Roofing, and Franco Trading Enterprise. There's something about bet, uh, uh, bet power. There's something about bet power. Yes, so bet power. They're giving away. They, they're giving away 15 million Ghana CDs. Is in here. You, all right, uh, and and a Range Rover. I'm gonna drive with you. Uh, you don't worry. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, if you've not heard that Bet Power is celebrating the start of the new football season, then Charlie, you're you're really missing out. You know how they're all about betting small and winning big. Well, get this: they're giving away a brand new Toyota Rav4 to a Ghanaian customer. Anyone can win it. Anyone. So you just got to bet on an English Premier League match, and enter by Sunday, 29th August. It's about this Sunday's week, 29th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you only need to bet with just one persua. Sika fia one persua. And you drive, you're going to drive RAV4. And I will invite photographers to come and take pictures of me driving it. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a lift. 
<laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Now, uh, the, the eight winners will play. Now, there will be a prize draw on Monday 30th. That's the next day. Now, the eight winners will play in the penalty shootout event in Accra next month. Cheered on by friends. This is where I wanted to invite my good friend Asamojan to come and coach me. But then I realized there's a penalty shootout. <laughs> <sighs> Penalty shootout. This is pronounced you. We go and do the assembly ball. No, but Asamoah is my very good friend. You know, but with this penalty underlined, you say I don't want to risk it. So at least I'll go and try. Just kick it. Just kick the ball. Kick it. Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, so the champion drives away in that Toyota Rav4. The runner up wins 6,000 Ghana cities. Four players get 3,000 Ghana cities each, and the other two win 1,500 Ghana cities each. Now it's available. So what I want to know is this Could that Toyota Rav4 be yours? If yes, then go to B E T P A W A Bet Power. B E T B A W A dot com dot G H. Right. You also deserve something better we'll be right back when we come back um th there is more to this I, I really want to find out more questions they are challenged their biggest challenge as photographers and then serious issue i hear they are womanizers papa <laughs> i hear they like women not here <laughs> Hey! See the way Dex, 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 Dex is laughing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very good question. Yes! I hear you people with that Sorry. <laughs> Come on, shall we be right back? I just chanced on something on, on a lady's Instagram page. I'm um, Edit Official. Now, here is a, a, a photograph. A photo, no, this photo sees her and her husband, I'm sure. And there's a gentleman with her. Once she's written, my world in one picture, and with her and a gentleman in there, who else would be in her world? Well, it could be her husband. Well, now, the last page shows her, the husband, and a young girl, supposedly their child. Which means photography tells a lot. Tells a lot of stories. My world in one picture. Nice. So, you guys are doing amazing. Nice one there. Uh, you guys are waiting. That I'll ask that question, but I won't ask. Please ask. I should ask, eh? Ask, ask. And it shall be given unto you. <laughs> Listeners, your, your questions are welcome. Uh, please ask uh, ask your questions and, and uh, I'll read them. First of all, uh, what, what are the... What, what are, what, let, me ask, let me start with you, Ben, uh, of uh, Covenant studios what what is your biggest challenge okay speaking for myself um since i work with um the artists a lot i'm going to say uh, my biggest challenge is the music industry not focusing on photographers because we really tell a story and without our pictures they are not going to be flies out there because any any anyone who is going to do something needs a picture to add to his or her flyer so I think the industry needs to pay attention to photographers just like they do to the music video directors as well. Because we also play a big role in the industry. Because um, talking about last year to last two years, most of the pictures out there were taken by me. And they were on billboards somewhere on like a whole lot of places. But at the end of the day, we are not being given credit. I think I spoke to um, Black CD some time ago about um, like they could even create an award scheme even for photographers so we can also be acknowledged because you're also creating a very big story in the industry so i think that's my biggest challenge so far which which artist do you regret working with <laughs> i can't i can't see it <laughs> there's a lot that i can't see <laughs> a lot yeah there's a lot from like from this stressing you to to money side and all of those things so but which artist won't you work with? I can't see it. Ah. Because <laughs> I might lose him. So. Are, are you a Christian? Yes, sir. Do you like God? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you like Satan? No. So why are you refusing <laughs> to mention the Satan in your you life? You might be listening to me right now. Yes, so. because Satan is everywhere. <laughs> 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 eh? I'd rather not see it. 
But I, I love working with medical so much. Like, I know I'm not asking yeah. who you love working with. I'm <laughs> asking who you want to work with. I can't see it. Because okay, which artist has stressed you by working with with, um, working with an artist? Well, you can mention that. Look, hmm. I mean, for me, uh, there are some people I I may not want to have an interview with. I don't want to not associate my brand with them, but I feel like there will be no substance yeah. or well, uh, for uh, there. Uh, uh, and if you ask me, I won't. I'll tell you yeah. that. Oh, I I, I don't want to like. Like, like. In like. this case, no. Wait a minute. In this case, I'm doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, but you said if you ask so me, I'll like, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. When it's time for you to do your interviews, I'll I'll give you all the answers. <laughs> when when we exchange seats, you can do the job. But for now, I'm doing the job. So will you please allow me to take the pictures? More okay, more more okay, more okay, please, more okay. because look, as a photographer, you you Go tell ahead. a story with your lens. <laughs> Let me use this lens to speak. Tell story. Let me tell the story with my mic. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So, <laughs> which artists? <laughs> now, which artist has stressed you, Pa? Oh, Big Man Andy. That one, day, I, I can't see. But um, what I will say is, um, me everyone know that Shatawale has stressed me, Pa. <laughs> and I won't lie. <laughs> everyone knows. In fact, we, the, he knows I don't like him. He will send you voice notes. Yeah, you make him try. <laughs> like you go over him this time. Hey, that boy. If he does say waiting, like I, I always I'll be quiet. Make I finish this interview. I'm gonna send I'm gonna do video for him. <laughs> Poor people, you be self. You be fail. Make sure you tell him. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, no, which are, so so you can't tell who has no, really no, 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 Okay, no. you don't want to mention that's right. But um what I'll say is some artists stress as photographers but how they stress us is like from taking the pictures some people they'll stress you like they could take like two hours for a session mm-hmm. yeah like you take the picture you show them show it to them they'll be like oh charlie me impe, we like i should have do it done it like this blah 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 a, bit, a whole lot of stress but talking about medical like i was saying not just medical like a couple of them they know what they want so if you get to the if, when, when you get to the set, it's not going to be a long talk. They just change, you get the things done, pa, 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 then you just move. Simple. But some artists are going to stress you like you can even take the whole day. And after you are done, payment is going to be a problem also. Hmm. But, How about the ladies? <laughs> because I, I know they take uh, they take hours on end on their makeups. Yeah. Do you have a makeup artist you work with? No, 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 I don't. So what happens? They come with them. They, like, they, they, they come with them. Yeah, freelance makeup artists just come through all the time. Yeah. Mm, right. I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so, uh, Kobe, uh, you were telling us about. Okay. You no, know, I was asking about the challenge. Mm. What's yeah. yours? I think for me, uh, it's um, trying to stay more relevant um, with my photos making trying to catch up and make up the right impact and all that um it also has to do with the competition in the field because um much as we are doing our is it really competitive very mm. wow very competitive um for example you may be covering an event like uh, for me like the last time we we're doing this um, demonstration you have to cover up you're covering what was happening getting the details and all that then in your mind you're like okay what could this other person also be covering yeah. oh, <laughs> you're like long <laughs> you're like okay so what's happening around me now i so it's actually influences you to i mean push yourself the limits to be able to go get the right details because if for say you are contracted by any agency to cover um a demonstration as it's happening or an activity as it's happening and you don't come back with the right work with the what the right output then it means that you may lose your next job or your next client so trying to to beat the competition it's for me it's very very um important and the other aspect is also being able to be better of what i was previously because today 
social media has allowed you to see the work of people mm. like varied mm. and you begin to ask yourself um, would my clients begin to navigate towards this person's yeah. work because you find it much better and all that so again it's it's more of trying to beat the competitive nature with self and with the work and what have you and for me also the other thing is uh, finding balance I mean, to be able to find balance with other work that I do, um, maintaining relationship or family and all that, and then having time for myself. Except that for me, when I pick the camera, it's a way I use to also improve on my mental health because photographing people, you interact with people, I mean, makes you understand that your situation you may be going through is not the worst and you use it to also keep up your mental health i mean aside that the general challenges which includes uh, um, client relationship um, beating the deadlines uh, finding enough funds to be able to do that project or that work um, getting the right equipment for the right job getting the right team to work with it's 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 all part of it so i see let, let me get to dex dex what's your what's your challenge on on this uh on on, on being a photographer your biggest challenge i think my biggest challenge has to do with the the, the respect that photographers um, are not being given um i think that most of the time when we go out to shoot, you know, there's this idea of, oh, he's, 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 he's just a photographer. So most of the time, you know, oh no. hello, can you hear me? I'm yes, very well, very well. Okay, good. Yes. So most of the time when you go for an event and all that stuff, there's, there's this lack of respect for people who, you know, are taking pictures. Um, and this comes from a long history of how photographers have presented themselves you know typically there's this photo photo kind of thing and <laughs> you know nataria you know there's he's not properly dressed and all that stuff so it's it's always given that you know low ball image and i think that uh, it will take some time but i wish that the respect and the understanding that photographers deserve would be given but that cannot be we, we, we can't force it out of the people it's up to us to decide um how we're going to change that narrative um, if you take some people like i for example i and my team i try and encourage them to dress well all the time you know don't go out looking like this or if you look at someone like um i think uh, focus and blair he does weddings personally he likes to dress and look good so he's in like a two-piece suit or he's in this kaftan and all that stuff and it's good because when he goes out there, people like appreciate. They, they look at him like, "Wow, okay, he's a photographer, he's in a suit, and all that stuff." So you really can't look down upon him. So I think that how we present ourselves is what is going to change the narrative. But so yeah, 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 will be better for two. Oh, But is it is it is it wrong for someone to call you for two? Me, for instance, I've I've had challenges. And I hate it when I'm I'm DJing and playing at a party, and someone comes and shout, and then the MC goes like, "Mr. DJ, <laughs> wait a minute, you don't you know my name? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> you you know you know I you know." Ah, so so what's so what's so wrong if they say photo? Especially so the if if you are not, I, I I don't want to use the the term well branded, but well known. So I yeah. see Dex D. Uh, yes, we, yeah, Charlie Photo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see, um, um, the thing is this: when you, when you, whatever you do, you are still photo. But there is the, there is the, what, what the, there's that urban understanding of the word photo. Okay, so of course you would still be photo, but the urban understanding of photo is just oh. Obicha, you know, just to be on I'm okay, obicha, I'm not a print that kind. I'm not expecting someone to go like, oh, like photographer or like, oh, uh, Mr. Photographer, or like, you know, reference you to, I, like, for example, I, for example, when I'm shooting, I don't like to be associated with who oh, he's a doctor and all that stuff. I mean, I'm here to, to do this work as that. So I, I, I don't want, you know, that to, you know, overshadow because. To be honest, when people find out certain things about you, they tend to treat you a little differently. And I don't think that's real. You know, um, 
even in medicine, I had this um, this thing I termed uh, the, 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 the white coat effect. So you could be working in the hospital. I, I know the I know the the, the, the white the white coat how do you call it? the white coat syndrome is it different from the white coat syndrome? Probably. Well, well, it's different. What you're talking about has to do with when they are coming to test your blood pressure and all that stuff. Yes, because I face but, it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but with this one is when you're walking through the hospital as a doctor in your lab coat or in your white coat, people see you and go like, hey, dog, like, hey, dog, you know, they refer to you. But you, the same person, take off the lab coat, you're closed, and then you walk through the hospital again. That same person that you met, they probably wouldn't look at you again. Right. Because now you're just an ordinary person in that capacity. So it's the same thing that applies in, in our work. You know, if I showed up, you know, dressed appropriately as what I'm supposed to be there to do as part of someone who's, who's, who is the, who's at the event, you know, that equal reference is given as opposed to not dressing well and, and, and all that stuff. So I think that is one of my biggest challenges. My other biggest challenge has to do with um, fellow photographers and what they do. Um, most, most photographers just copy. They just copy what is already there. And the ability to try and improve and get better. I, I feel that, especially when it comes to the retouching that I was talking about earlier, you know, most everyone is thinking, oh, I can retouch too. And then they come up with all these plastic looking pictures. It bothers me a whole lot. It really bothers me. I try as much as possible to teach um, retouching photography online and all that stuff. But most people, are they're just copying. They don't understand it. They don't take their time to actually learn and improve and become better. Because at the end of the day, it's still going to be, if a fellow photographer is editing this way and it looks so plastic, and then you end up going to shoot for that client who has seen all these plastic retouching, and then you go edit properly, and then you know, they see their skin details, they are pausing, be like, oh, I don't know, my hair off, sorry. You know, I, I want my face to look all plastic. And I'm there, I'm like, oh my God, this is not right. But we'll be a saying that. We'll be able to say back when the perception. So you are forced to edit in that bad way. And I right. think that that is one of mm. the okay. biggest challenges. Okay. Well, well, listeners, well, well, forgive us for the, uh, the background feedback. The, the feedback. Uh, well, Dex D is joining us via Zoom, so it's unfortunate that all of you watching on Facebook uh, may not see. The, the zoom effect you're not getting it now to so the question that a lot of people are asking we hear you are womanizers you like women let the women come to the studios to shoot especially those of you that operate with studios they come there oh change your style change your style when you also no way change 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 i'm not changing Dexy, it's a perception. Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't do studio work. He does. You do studio work. A lot. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Me <laughs> baho. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe, yeah. you don't do studio work too much. Not, no, not too not much. Not at yeah, all. Yeah. Not, I mean, not too much. I mean, when it demands, I do. Okay. So let me get to you, Ben, because of you, most of your works are in the studio. Yes, sir. And you take most of the ladies. No. Hey. No most. Not I, most. I do, some. I do most of the guys. Okay, so so when the ladies come and they are changing their tires, you you are there. You see. No, there's a changing room. But sometimes you see. No, no. sir, I don't. <laughs> sometimes they ask you, "Oh, please fix my brazier for me." Ah. <laughs> oh, most of them come with yeah associates, so they are not alone. It's not, it's not yeah. yeah. They're not alone. Uh, okay, I don't understand, but they say, say they say you, you guys they like women. Uh, that's it be perception, like my brother is saying, like people do it. Like, like most of the guys are. In fact, like there is a tweet. There's a tweet personally for you, Covenant hey. at Naples. He says, Andy, that Covenant guy, he likes women, pa. Hey. I know him personally. Shout to Star Maker. Same. Yeah, like, no, that'd be true. <laughs> because I know this. I know this photographer. Huh? Every okay, day is displaying guys, women, ah! and the kind of things he displays. Charlie, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I just want to go and just feast. I, I just want to go and see things. And you know, there are some photographers 
who also focuses on this boudoir mm-hmm. kind of boudoir kind of photography thing they they go extra extra like and there are women who just walk into the studio and ask for it have you ever shot a nude have you ever been in any nude session um no what your m yeah <laughs> 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 dream you. Yes, I, dream no, no, I, I think the the session was about to start and uh L- light off no i was supposed to do the shoot at the studio and they had come in so i was asked to wait they do that before mine start so i i knew that was what was going to happen but i so did you so, you, so you witnessed it because no, as a photographer i only saw the photos after i only saw the photos you I mean, saw that were they had had there okay were they edited video uh, photos yeah or, they were edited already yeah mm. yeah yeah, yeah. So. then it means you didn't catch the raw part well you see sometimes <laughs> well it, it it depends people see this. it depends on what you saw i'm talking some, about what you saw it's not about <laughs> what you're about to see i'm Somehow. talking of what that particular incident did you see the negatives? <laughs> <laughs> so I saw what was 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 the final work, yeah. and I think I mean that's also an art ben, on its own. Do you shoot? Do you do nude photography? Yeah, I used to. You used to? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh please, allow! I don't like it. I don't like oh. it when I'm doing interviews <laughs> and people are giving accolades. <laughs> yeah, we all know it's an art. We are yeah. not saying it's drawing. We are just, we are just drawing with like. No one's saying like this. Thing. We are not. No one is saying it is drawing like, of. Yeah, that's photography. No one is saying it is painting. We all know it is an art. <laughs> Please. So, when when they approach you that they want to take nude pictures. Do you request... Okay, wh- what do you request for? Um, so basically, new photos goes extra because it, it takes a lot of skin touching. Yeah. Skin touching? Yes. <laughs> because you're going to need to edit from head to toe. Like no, skin touch. I said, literally, you have to touch the, the lady. Touch no, 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 no. Not, not touching retouch. the skin. Like retouching the skin. Uh, editing. Uh, editing. Aspect. So when it comes to oiling the body, Oh no, no, they do. I don't. No. Yeah, what you do? I think I'm innocent. Oh, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not innocent. I'm not innocent. You're not innocent. I'm not innocent. Like innocent because but. sometimes you have to apply baby oil on yes. the tie. I've done. I've done it before. Not like on a nude it's person. Right. Like maybe we are taking something that you need to add it to the tie and. Like, no, 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 of course, that will be. It's part of your work. Sometimes it's, it's the work, you know. Uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah. in this case, when. No, I wanted to school me a bit. What, what was your your very first encounter, your very first experience when you were taking a nude photo? How did you feel? I was tensed. I was tensed. Was this a celebrity? No, 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 no. Was a model. She a model. Was a model. Yeah. So, so, so do you ask questions as to what she's using it for? Because you must know, so you 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 know you can take angle, yeah. you position your angle. You know, most of the girls like taking nude. Like they want to see how they look yeah. in time. They don't like standing in the mirror all of the time. They they want to see it like how they so, move gradually. So 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 with this, what was it? Was she topless? Yeah, e- to like go. everything. Yeah. What was the position? Did she? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? Copy play. I'm, I'm doing my going, interview. I'm <laughs> going. Like, what is this? I'm I'm the the move 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 the Why is it that when I'm doing interviews? Asking, asking, ask, asking ask. pertinent <laughs> questions. Technical questions. Technical. Good. <laughs> Thank you for the backup. For once, you are making me happy. I don't like it when I'm running my interviews and you, 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 you interact. <laughs> Hmm. Charlie, what was the position? Uh, if you, okay. <laughs> what, what was she doing? Lying down, standing up, oh, one it leg up. It hmm? Depends. You just go on Pinterest. We get. No, I'm talking of the very first one. The very first one. Normal position, like she can stand. And what is your? When you say normal position, what uh, missionary or? Hey. Hey. <laughs> it don't be. You know, it's just oh, photos. Yeah. Charlie Manu, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just photos. So they just pose. Yeah, normal poses. They we just. Grab their lights on them. That be all. Lighting. So you you lit it. 
Yes. But you know, he mentioned that he was tense during mm-hmm. your first new oh, yeah, photo yeah, yeah, yeah. shoot. Does it mean that? I mean, at a point in time, maybe you felt aroused. No, 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 no. Mm. no, no but no. have you ever yes. had that experience? Oh, so it's good that she's asking. So that okay. D- didn't you so, feel you know, all of this because of this mindset? That's why I just thought. Covenant. No, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. So no. You're telling is, the truth now. Listen, yeah, listen, yeah, listen, yeah, listen, yeah. listen, listen. Did you feel anything? Yeah. Oh, if you know, I feel something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you go see some girl, you? like you know. I was thinking. What's your You know, man. So, true, like, you for control yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Ah, uh, you control yourself? No. Oh, do you cross your legs or what? I can see. Because when they are taking it, you stand right. <laughs> but Andy, you know, some of this boudoir thing does not only happen in the it does not only happen in the photographer studio. There are times that the person need, wants those images um for themselves. It could also be needed for these magazines. Um so an agency will require you to do it. So they could take it to set or they could be in the private uh place of the client and when all you were that. shooting yours, was it private? No, I've, I've told you I've not shot Boudoir before. There are a lot of persons who are shot it. Are you open to <laughs> shooting Boudoir? Um, it depends. Okay, yes. For mine in it's the medical... This is a lady asking, you know, she's coming. Well, hey. w- and for me, it has been with regards to the medical. I shot a, uh, someone with um, a skin condition. It had not, the whole not of the I'm body. That's what I'm talking about. Boudoir and Casa. So that's the only part that I have done. But Are you Are open? You open? to shoot to shoot in a boudoir like having a oh, boudoir session hey, <laughs> what is I, I am a, I am a, a nurse I, I have been I've, around body t- yes yeah, so okay. it's it's, so it's normal you, it's normal, very normal so you have been seeing women who are naked when they come to the working. hospital yes working working, working. people's wives mm-hmm. working you know, I don't think you answered my question the though. question is are you open to shooting boudoir no. first of all what is boudoir okay well, the name itself, no, that's a word. It's, it's, the, it's, the word itself, boudoir. is yeah. um, shooting someone who is naked, naked or partially naked, but in a tasteful way. Tasteful. Intimate, yeah. sexual, romantic, so, erotic. So, listen, uh, Ben, let me come back to you because it looks like these people are bitter about the bush. <laughs> and it's so bushy that we can't even hear or see anything. <laughs> so, listen, Ben, when you were shooting these, la- when, you sh- when you were shooting, that you felt st- tense. Every one we aim to make show. Oh yeah, eh, normal. <laughs> it's work, but eh, normal. That you see, like, by you know, I don't have that mindset, that bad mindset. So, have you ever been tempted to do or touch? You know, you know, t- do something out of the normal. No, I don't mix my work with pleasure. Have you ever been approached by no, a woman no, no. who, by way of luring you into doing something? No, please. Happy ending. No, please, I haven't. So you've never oh. dated a client? A model. No, 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 never. No. Mm. Have you? No. Ever no. dated a client? Are you sure, Covenant? Oh, I'm sure. You've oh. never dated a female oh. client? Never. No. But I hear, I hear, okay, so the, the fella is that you've shot a lot of nude pictures. Uh, Not a lot. <laughs> Like I how have. many? Like how many clients? I don't mm. Be very, very honest. At Cheso, I don't remember. Oh, but of course you don't. <laughs> That's like three years or four years back. And then <laughs> my, my, my photography career is like five years or four. Just all started two years. 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 You started shooting nudes. I was looking for content. So. <laughs> I was looking for clients. So cool. you know, yeah, you do everything that you comes. Know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyway. Uh, so. <laughs> Do you determine the positions or the... Andy, it, I, it, I think it's okay. okay. We, we've been on this subject for a long time. Like, it's like, okay. Andy, Andy, for time for the gaffer. Oh! I'm the gaffer. I'm I'm a creative director. Andy, okay. yeah, like every day, every day, happy ending. I'm, 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 oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, day. No. Listen. Le- oh, Ria can tell you. Oh, Jawa Seba. Sorry. Ria, Ria. I can tell you what? That I don't... Like happy, happy endings. endings. Hey. How <laughs> would I know? Oh, but you know me. If listen, people have done me a lot of good, and I didn't pay them. People have done you a lot of good. Of course. Mm. Hey, yeah, see. But why are you involving me? Because in you're my sister. Hi, bro. Listeners, <laughs> 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 we'll be right back when we come back. There's the who for whom do you? When I come, you have to no, tell us. They teach a lot. Yeah, a lot. They teach yeah. a lot of boudoir, you know. 
He's good. But I hear he's very Patrick. decent. Very. Yeah, I hear Dexy is very look. decent. Why didn't you say Ben is decent? Ah. No, because his face, girl, look at him. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I, look, I don't look innocent. Let's just wait. He doesn't. Let's, he doesn't at all. Let's, 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 when we come back, I'll be reading your comments. And Ria is here to ask her questions as well. Please stay with us. Quick one, let's call Scanty says, Sandy Dusty, one of your adults photo shoot I saw on Instagram lying down naked there. Hmm, the photographer who shot it there, he saw things, pa. The Royal Baba says, photographers, they assemble all in the name of Cre. D4 underscore Desmond says and the dusty are new so no 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 he wants to know everything fito fito if you want to know more can you turn yourself into one we'll advertise for you my friend come on for that original slice says so today the area your daughter attend to your sister <laughs> oh yeah Charlie Daddy. people have interest in both of us pal. I know right mind your business yeah. what are you claiming your truth for <laughs> mm -hmm. hey <laughs> <laughs> the royal baby says photographers the assemble assemble but mm. song underscore theophilus says god please come down today lights not dawson <laughs> <laughs> oh too boy oh jeez mm. <laughs> show it to them <laughs> oh too boy says brand it'd be nice image. Yeah. Nice yeah it's image. not i know Nice yo. At O2 Boy says, <laughs> yo, Brandy is a gem when it comes to interviews. Today, your line of questions is benign and exquisite. Much respect to legend. And the backup artist, Noella, <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> in fact, I'm enjoying the interview more than anything. <laughs> Oji Wangana says, Andy, on this note, I'm going into photography. Why? Hey, Andy, just push the man to confess. <laughs> oh, no. Nipples says, Andy, that confident guy, he likes women. Oh, no, I read that one. Um, so, some of your philosophers is asking that how much do you charge to take nudes? Hmm. Is it different from the ordinary? Is it different? Yeah, it depends on the client also. Mm. Yeah. Oji say, remember way back in the village, a photographer would take a picture of someone several times and the person's head won't be showing. <laughs> Ask the gentleman if, the, if there's any spiritual connection to that. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything like spiritual hold your money yeah there's spirituality be anymore yeah okay. Kwaku says yeah. ah photographers are really doing well but some photos they should there yeah. mm. I was with Dex just last week Saturday at FS Safu Temple and I never knew he was a photographer and it was nice meeting him yeah. wow Dex wow I see so Dex back at you they say you guys like yeah. women pa before mm. that Tuala, please. No. Uh, uh, yeah, listeners, no. What do you, tell us about Dura Plus. Why? So over for over 50 years, Dura Plus Limited, your reliable partner for plastic products such as PVC and HDPE pipes of various sizes have over the years progressed to become a leader in the plastic industry in West Africa and parts of Central Africa by adding blow and roto molding product. Now, how do you check the level of water in your storage system or your storage tank? Do you we hit all, the we side, and, hit the side. and listen or do you climb all the way up like Andy Dusty because he's short uh, to look inside it? Well, the new water tank, I love you, baby. Well, the new water tank from Duroplast comes with an optional water level indicator that lets you know exactly how much water you have in your tank. It also has a very unique design. Uh, you should see it. It's beautiful and it's not only beautiful but it's also designed to carry accurate volumes of water so if it's 5,000 liters it means it's 5,000 liters and of course it's very durable and available in several sizes so get yourself a water tank today from Duraplast water tank what a tank where Duraplast goes water, water flows. flows nice one there we're live on this one and this season there's the 15 million Ghana cities power port jackpot available to win every week by getting 17 results right and it's all thanks to bet power now 15 million Ghana cities power jackpot ticket costs just three Ghana cities no wonder bet power say bet small and win big and then there's the 500% win bonus bet power offers a win bonus on every bet with three legs or more going all the way up to 500 percent for bets with 45 legs so you can win big 
will the wind burn us at any time and it doesn't matter how much you bet what the odds are or what markets you're betting on as long as your bet has three legs or more it qualifies for a win bonus now the place to find all these opportunities to win big including the chance to win that brand new toyota rav 4 is betpower.com.gh that's betpower as in b-e-t-p-a-w-a dot c-o-m dot g-h that's betpower.com now gaming can be addictive so please Bet responsibly. Do not bet if you're not 18 years or above. Now, this advertisement has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of GH. Okay. So, Ria, yeah, you've not spoken. Before Dex come in, uh, please ask your questions before. Okay, so, um, I, I actually wanted to ask about the boudoir issue. But I think um, it's been exhausted already. And I think people are even tired of it. <laughs> yes. But, <laughs> but I wanted to test, like, how you guys get prepared okay as professionals how you get prepared for your work so I, I i i just got this scenario in my head so maybe you get a call okay you, i know you guys work with teams you have teams around you that help with lighting and stuff like that so um you have you get a call and you in town like on a random day you know you don't have anything to do and someone recommends you so you get a call for a very career defining moment or you know photo shoot for, so for you like this could be someone like Beyonce is in Ghana and they want you to shoot and you cannot take any team with you because maybe NDAs are involved and stuff like that and then you are supposed to bring only one camera mm. how are you a, are going to be able to do this and you you have limited time you have to be there in like the next hour i i okay so to begin with to even have a good team you must individually be a great leader um, as a photographer so for me especially and i'm going to give us some few scenarios anytime i get called for an event or a shoot or whatever it is very often i have some level of anxiety if it's an event sometimes when i get to the event ground it takes me like 10 minutes to get into the mood sometimes you'll be on your way to the program or the event you are picturing everything in your mind mm -hmm. so very often you create some of these things in your mind but on paper or on planning you also have you create your mood boards mm -hmm. you also have your shoot like how you want the things to be done you create all of that sometimes you create it on paper you even create your short list mm -hmm. if it's an event or a wedding or like this shoot you're going to have mm -hmm. for for shooting celebs like this i mean agencies who are dealing with uh, such clients very often prompt you ahead so there are times that you can even plan where the celeb is going to stand the personality is going to stand the, the positions and all that that you're going to yeah. use the lighting and whatever you you actually create it ahead mm -hmm. unless otherwise it's an emergency exactly thing. that's where i'm coming from if maybe her uh, photographer disappointed here and you know you told me there is competition you said there was competition yeah. in the business yeah. so if you don't avail yourself it's going to your competition yeah. and this is a career defining moment for mm -hmm. you but this is something you've been doing for a while. Yeah, so, so yes. you don't need so much time to plan. I you know, understand? but that's why I said you are not going with a team. Yes. Because of probably privacy and, 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 the, and it's stated in the NDA. Good. And you have to pick only one camera. So I'm expecting maybe... And the light you, or something. No, like you are just limited to one gadget camera. That's no problem at all. Even I thought you even say one lens. <laughs> <laughs> because but what if at that time you had even only one lens in your in your camera you and you have able. to like go around and just shoot to the venue? A pro okay. should be able to do it yeah. easily. Just a find pro a good location to shoot. And a good right. light like Dexty yeah. talked about. Immediately you get to the room, look for lights. Yeah. Or just okay. change the light in the room, however it is, and you can be able to so create that. From mm -hmm. what I get, like light is like the most important thing. Very important. Very. Whether natural light or or artificial. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Light right. is very important. 
Okay, so uh, let me get to you, Dex. Uh, you, you, you've not spoken in, in a while. So I chanced on your Instagram page and I'm seeing things. <laughs> Dex. Yes. I'm seeing things. In fact, you've shot about 99% of your pictures are women. Yes. And no, some are semi nude yes i must say it what's his ig you want to see his ig you also want to see boudoir mm, maybe i'll take some so dex when when they when they approach you what excuse me guys you're on air please when, when they approach you what's the first conversation do they state emphatically that it's a nude photo shoot um, uh, most of the time, these are pre-planned ideas uh, based on the concept. Uh oh, uh, uh, where's my technician? It looks like uh, Dex, Dex, your your microphone is. It's a, it, Hello. It's your feedback. Um, no, the feedback is a bit deafening. I I cannot hear you properly. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I think it's a technical problem. Let me, let me try and and reestablish contact with you. Um, okay. Right. Uh, please. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. So, so what? What should I do? Should I reconnect him? Oh, okay. So we have to go off and come back to you. Uh, Dex is is is, is connecting with, with us via Zoom. So uh, I'll, I'll 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 call you pretty soon. Uh, right. Uh, let Let me reestablish contact. Okay. So let Let me read some of the comments on Facebook. Um, NY Spice says, "Andy, can I ask?" And they kindly ask if there's an association for photographers. If yes, what category of photographers can join? Um, you, you mentioned, yeah. yes. We have uh, one association like that, APPG, mm. uh, Association of Professional Photographers in Ghana. And we are working, they are working on a, a lot of things. Uh, we have Steve Abebio, uh, another legendary photographer. Um, Steve Aduce, even Dex D is part of the leadership. Um, then... They are putting together a lot of things to channel most of our grievances and then get us working together. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. anyone who is also interested could um, get in touch and we'll be able to network together. Right. Uh, Richard Walkbeck says, good boss. Hmm. Mauko says, boss you and boss you dusty. When are you interviewing painters? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I need to bring you carpenters and bring cave painters and, and, and masons. Uh, Prince Kwakun Kruma says, Sir, Bonnie, uh, please tell them the truth. Why? Then uh, they use, okay. Okay. Uh, your, your your words are a, a bit strange. So, wait. Um, Robert Clark asked a very good question. Something that really had my attention. Hold on. Okay, good. Now, he says, the guy mentioned intellectual property. Where does it start and where does it end? You take a picture of my event without my permission. I see the picture in public and I use it without your permission. But you turn around and say it's your intellectual property. And so you want to sue me for it. Hmm. So his question is, we're suing them for misusing. Not misusing. Mm -hmm. So you come to my event. Supposing yeah. I'm, it's a VGMAs, yeah. right? And well, this is a PRO for Charterhouse. Okay. So let me use the VGMAs for example. Okay. So you come to the VGMAs, you take a picture. Then he uses it. The picture is your picture, yeah. right? Okay. You didn't seek permission at my event, an event that I, I put together my cost or whatever, a, any other thing, right? It's mm. my platform. Now you come there, you take a picture. I see it on social media. Or I see it on the internet. I use it for, let's say, a poster or a flyer. Then you turn around to tell me that I've used your intellectual property. And so you're going to sue me for not asking permission from you. How do you deal with that? That's why he's asking that where does it start? Where does it end? There is always a level ground. And pictures don't drop from heaven. Mm. Someone created that image. Someone created the yes. event too. Yes, so there is always a level ground. That the has event to didn't come by its own. Yes, so <laughs> right. if you have to use our photos for anything, sometimes they reproduce these photos and commercialize it. Yeah. 
I created the photo. I didn't commercialize it. I may have used it to report the event as it's happened. At the end of the day, much of the credit goes to you, whose event is ongoing, that people get to see what's happening. I add on to your publicity. I add on to what is happening. Maybe I'm also a journalist or a photojournalist. I may have used the photo to report the event as it's happening. And you pick the photo. You use it for commercial purposes. Obviously, that is not right. Mm -hmm. And so the best, if you are not going to credit, I didn't get in touch. I saw this photo. It was nice. It was my event though. But you were able to create a good memory of the event that was happening. Right. So I want to use it. I mean, it's, it's beautiful to have that relationship yeah. than simply picking that because it was your event. It That's was, why he asked it was that. You, you came to his event. It was a public without event. Seeking, without seeking permission it to take a It was a public picture. event. I'm sure you're going to seek permission before being and there. And I may have paid for my ticketing yeah. and all that to be there. Or to get a media tag or something. Yes. So if anybody comes and has camera and was able to create, to preserve that memory or that image of your event, it is very likely he may have bought ticket to attend. Okay. He has had accreditation to attend as a media person. And so there was permission f he granted the person to do what he has to do as professional as he is. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, next, well, we are, we are leaving. Our time is up. We have to go. Uh, I was asking you about uh, how they approach you if, if they, they seek your service. How, how, how was the conversation done? How does it begin? Um, most of the time, the images that, okay, the images that you see on my page, most of them are personal work that I used to learn and train. Um, before we plan a shoot, we would talk about the idea talk about the concept that we are trying to achieve. Um, there are several things that one would want to capture when it comes to a picture. So once they, I'm the type that I like to plan everything way before I actually do the shoot. So if, if you, you, you can't just call me and be like, oh, let's have the shoot. I'm coming tomorrow. And then, you know, we do it. But most of the time, the conversation goes, this is what we're going for. This is the idea. What do we need to get? What do we, you know, uh, what don't we have? And then what can be done in, in replacement of that you know so these are some of the conversations that we have before we end up having do you have exceptional pricing for them not necessarily i go by the hour you you charge I per hour the, yes per so the they don't waste because, your time exactly so most of the time i mean as Canadians, oh i didn't know eight o'clock the person is not ready and i'm like okay you said eight o'clock i'm here eight o'clock so if you delay up to like 10 as long as I don't have a shoot, then look, I'm charging you for the three hours that you made me stay there. It makes it easier for me and all that stuff. Do, do you have? Do you have? Do you take? Do you have exceptions that are oh, with this kind of position? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shoot. A position as in oh, as so, pose. Um, yeah, poses. Yes, this kind of pose. Yeah. Yeah, I've had I've had situations where I'm like, nah, this pose is not right, or it doesn't feel right, or it's not aesthetically beautiful. Oh, well, um, it's, it's not about it, but well, if that's how the client wants it, do you take exception or do you have any authority to I, refuse? I believe, yeah, I believe they, 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 they only, they came to me for my professional work as well. So when they come, I'm able to tell them what looks good, what, based on what we are trying to achieve, what looks good and what doesn't look good. Because, you know, Andy, when it comes to every work that you do, even in your line of work, there is always ethics that you must associate with every business. Photography is also a professional job that you do. If you do not apply the ethics of, you know, photography, then, for example, um, you were you were asking Ben about, you know, the oil and all that stuff. Um, the point is that these days, I'm sure uh, about a year back, you heard stories of people being sued. Uh, like photographers being sued for, you know, inappropriate uh, misconduct and all that stuff. And that became a, a whole big issue. But the point is this, by ethics, you are supposed to ask permission for everything that you do, particular to, like, pa sorry, particularly to uh, shooting models or something that is a bit sensitive. So if I have to touch you, hold your hand to do this or that, I always do ask permission. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm happy that, um, um, I'm surprised actually, but I'm also happy that the image out there is that I do my work in a, in a very decent manner. So most of the time, based on the ethics, based on the understanding with the person that I'm shooting, if I feel that this pose or this image is not going to, you know, give the idea or sell the idea that 
the aesthetic beauty of a woman is something that we are not shooting. And to be a good photographer, your ability to hide, you know, your bad images, you show your good images. Uh, obviously, the pictures that you see online, it doesn't mean that we didn't take some bad pictures. We did. But as a photographer, your ability to select the right image, the good image, and put it out there is what, you know, sells your image. Right. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. So, Dex, uh, g give us your, your social media handles or your business uh, 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 handles so we can follow you and, and, and see some of the great works you're putting out there. It's Dex D Studios. Dex D Studios. E-E-X-T-D-E -E -E Studios. Right. Uh, yes, Covenant Studios. Is that what's on social media? Yes, sir. But you just deleted some of them. No, my account has been hacked. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry wow. about that. <laughs> my bad. I'm so sorry. Oh wow. Oh, but no, truly, is it? Is, oh, oh, that's very bad. Yeah, that's very bad. Are you working on getting it back? Or yeah, it looks like. It. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, how do we get to you then? If someone wants your, he has your a temporary account. I think. Yeah, I do. Yeah. On Facebook? Yeah, on Instagram. On Instagram? Yeah. What's it? Same, Covenant Studios. Covenant Studios, okay. All right, then to you, Kobe. Yeah, so it's uh, Kobe Blay or Vessel Media. Vessel Media. Yeah. Right, okay. I see. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming, yeah, gentlemen. I really so enjoyed every idea. bit of it. I really enjoyed this interview. Thank you very much, Dexty. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ben of uh, Covenant Studios. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much for coming, gentlemen. I really enjoyed it. Happy birthday to Samuel Garden of Ash Motos, Ash Aliboche. This one is from Kobe Spikey. Thank you very much, Samuel. More, more, more photography. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful. This is Pits.